Hey everybody and welcome back to another day. Today uh, we're doing something a little bit different. I'm working on some other projects and uh, trying to find some new cars to work on. So if you're in the Kansas City area and you got some old junk in your driveway that you want me to come out and check out, make sure to give me a shout. Maybe I'll come out and get it running for you for free. Today what we're going to do is put a uh, Amazon train horn on my, um, on my Duramax reason I'm doing this is that it's come to my attention that my horn sounds like it's off of a Toyota Prius and I want to scare the life out of anybody who decides to pull out in front of me. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know, I own a junk removal business and I regularly have a very large trailer that empty weighs 4,200 pounds behind my truck. 99% of the time it's loaded down with at least about four to 5,000 pounds. So I got a 10,000 pound trailer and a 6,500 pound truck going down the road. It's not real easy for me to stop. So my objective is to basically make people poop their pants, but I wanted to do it on a budget. So what I did is I bought a 150 decibel $40 train horn off of Amazon. And we're gonna see kind of what kind of quality we get for that. So first off, this is metal. I'm assuming probably aluminum. It's got a uh, plastic base or back on it. This is plastic. So, I mean, that's all right. It's made in China, so it's all the way from the land of Kung Fu. We've got wiring, bolts of some kind for whatever. I'm guessing to bolt that to it. We're gonna self tap it in, it's easier. And a relay with the mounting bracket. No instructions? Oh yeah, there's instructions. Okay. Cool. So we've got instructions on wiring. We got us a little pump here. Find to open this with a screwdriver. left my knife inside which was a mistake but you know it is what it is we all make those that seems like decent quality huh. man fairly self-explanatory i guess there's your mounting position right there Guessing you put one of these bolts or those nuts in there and then screw her down tight. And then you got positive and negative on the top. That's, you know, from what I, what I know about relays is you're probably going to run positive pull from your, from here into your end of this through your relay and then run your actual positive to your relay and then probably run negative off of this side here. And then whenever you push your horn button, it'll connect that, that terminal inside your relay, put positive to this, complete the circuit, and then bang, bang, boom, then you got a loud horn. So let's go start tearing some stuff apart, get this wiring all set up and get this thing in the truck. So here's what I'm thinking. There's some space down inside this grill here. All I have to do is pull this whole plastic piece off here. There's just some clips. We're gonna pop that off real quick and then look down inside here and see what kind of space we have and where we can kind of self tapper this thing or maybe even zip tie it to a bracket somewhere inside of here. All right, we're not going for a professional install here because I'm not going to take half the truck apart just to figure out where to put this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a bolt through there. There's a hole in that piece of that bracket. And then we're going to come over here and we're just going to zip tie the hell out of that to this support bracket for the hood latch. And then we'll just call that good. Eventually I'll make some brackets or something to kind of make it sit in here a little bit better. But for now, I think that'll be fine. Ah, that's the first time that's ever happened. 
went all the way through the frame. This is why zip ties are almost always the answer. Because this is a pain. That side's in. Okay, so now let's start working on some wiring. So let me uh, lay this out, see exactly how much I have, which I should have done beforehand, but I didn't, so just disregard that. Um, anyways, lay out my wiring, see what we got, see where I can mount the pump, and how much hose I've got to run into there. So, this will be fun. If you don't have one of these, I don't know if you even really work on cars. Or you're just not short like me. Gotta have my man step. Alright, let's see what we can get in. I'm going to have to pull this tray out of the way, I think. I think that's going to be the easiest way, so let me do that. All right, so I abandoned my battery box thing. I went in here, cut my wires. So you're going to run one side to this one, and yeah, your diagram has how you need to do it. In my case, my uh, blue wire goes to my black wire, and my white wire goes to my green wire, okay? So, all that being said, I already tested this. I kind of finagled this together and hooked it up so that I could test and make sure that the pump is turning on whenever I hit the horn. Sure enough, it is. I actually have two horns, so I've got one on the other side. So, I'll retain my factory horn just in case this were to go out. I still have a horn on the truck. Um, and I did clip this back far enough where if I want to, I can just put the clip back on it and plug that horn back in. And I've got all my factory horn stuff still. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to figure out where I'm going to mount all of this stuff. Um, the big thing is I need to get down in here and drill a hole for my pump, um, a mounting spot, and then set that pump on there, screw it in, and it should be good to go. I think I'm just going to put it right there. That way it's easy to get to in case there's a problem or the hose pops off or whatever. So, I'm going to do that, and then I'll show you guys how I did it. All right, here we go. I got all the wiring set up. Let's do a test real quick. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right, let me button all this up real quick, and I'll have my wife come out and honk the horn for me. <laughs> so here's everything installed. I've got my horn down in there. I just took it and zip-tied it. On this side I could have drilled it in but I wasn't sure if I was gonna leave this in here or not so maybe we'll address that at a later date here's my relay which I zip tied in I left the tail on the zip tie just in case I need to tighten it up more in the future I got my wires that go down to my my horn over there here's my pump mounted like it says in the guide just drilled a hole stuck it through tightened it up and then my positive battery wire goes up here over to my positive terminal on my battery and then i just took and zip tied my fuse right here because they didn't give me a lot of length here and i didn't want to chop this and you know put any more splices in here than we needed so let me uh put this back on now that i showed you that close the hood and uh let's see how this thing sounds So, for uh, this $40 Amazon horn, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, highly recommend buying it. I'll put a link down in the description. I think it was like $44.95 or something like that. Thing works just like it says it is. It's actually a decent quality piece. If you like these videos, make sure to like and subscribe. That'll do it for today.